fast start to the morning guys, 8am on a Tuesday over here on the Gold Coast and I've just been able to secure a pretty good face at Marketplace pickup so I'm just jumping in the car and, and heading over there now to pick it up, luckily it's just around the corner so it won't take too long but I'll explain a little bit later as to what it is and why I'm buying it but um, it's actually a pretty good deal, I've crunched the numbers and I think I can make a few out of it so I'm going to shoot over there and pick it up now, we'll kick off the episode with this Facebook Marketplace pickup and uh, We'll keep going on with this day. It's going to be a big daily vlog. Hope you're looking forward to it. So it's all in, okay. Yeah. And they are all sealed. Because the only thing I was worried about was the, yeah, the power. So region four. Um, is that a problem, is it? No, well, the region 4 means that it'll actually play on the DVD here because you often get the ones that are imported from Bali or whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, that was the only thing I was curious about. And they're all that sort of action hero type stuff, is it? Um, there's, there's, there's a bit of drama, there's a bit of romance. It's, okay. It's everything. You know, I, 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 yeah. Action, okay. If you have a look, have, have a few look at the top and you'll see what's going on. Yeah, it's like Godfather and all that. Oh, yeah, we didn't even watch that, but they're, yeah. they're, they're all action, we're into Schwarzenegger and, you know, all those sort of things. Gotcha, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, and, and 350, you were comfortable with 350? Yeah, she did, too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah? All yeah, right. we sort of had a bit of a debate too. Oh, but, man. yeah, that's it. All right, no worries at all, well, I'll take it. Well, I hope I've done the right thing here, guys. I've just bought all those DVDs. I've taken them all. There was a good 600 odd of them and I've spent 350 bucks. So when you do the numbers, I think it's about 60 cents a DVD. And if you've been a past viewer of the channel, I did buy 88 brand new DVDs a few months ago and I went on to sell them for some pretty good money. I've made about 500 bucks on those DVDs. So look, I know through experience that they actually do make you some pretty good money on eBay. But that is by far and away the biggest Facebook Marketplace purchase I've ever done. 350 bucks on 600 DVDs. Let me know in the comments, would you have done it yourself? Um, as you can see there though, based on the video, there was a lot of brand new and sealed, which is always a very good, uh, very good telltale sign. So I'm excited about it. Let's get home, let's kind of pick through and I'm gonna go grab myself a coffee and uh, I'll see you back at home to have a look through. So here we go guys, all of the DVDs all looked out and the first thing I wanted to do here is actually just check to see how many DVDs we actually had and the total number comes to 510 DVDs. So I think she said in her ad there was 570 but look in the end I'm not too disappointed here. The overall sale price was $350 which works out to about 68 cents on 510 DVDs. The other thing as well is she said there were quite a few that were brand new and sealed which is obviously what you want when you're buying brand new DVDs. As you can see here, they're not sealed, um, unfortunately. I have looked out the sealed ones and they are just these ones here. Um, fortunately, the Godfather trilogy, um, that there is, is all brand new and sealed, but there are 25 brand new and sealed DVDs and all of the rest are pre-owned. So unfortunately, there was not probably as many as I would have liked from a brand new sense, but I will be able to make $10 a piece on those. So that's $250 right there and i only need to sell these for a hundred dollars to get my money back so there's going to be a lot of profit made in this one guys the average sale price for a pre-owned is going to be anywhere between sort of five to seven dollars on average um, so even at five dollars for 500 dvds you're looking at about two and a half thousand dollars worth of value and uh, i've been able to buy them for just 350 bucks so a very quick item to list a very quick item to post i don't mind going with the dvds these should go on to sell pretty well now guys, I know that a lot of you are probably looking at this going, Matt, I just wouldn't bother. It's a $5 sale. It's a lot of work for not a lot of return. But over time, it really does add up. And I have seen through past experience with the brand new seals that I bought that you can make some decent money from it. The reasoning though, as to why I bought these DVDs today is that in the next couple of weeks, I've got a lot happening socially, sort of away from work. And I actually want to I actually want to take 10 days off in the middle of the month. So 
what I'm going to need to do is still have items regularly getting listed and uploaded onto my store while I'm away. So I needed to do my standard 10 items a day, plus I needed something like this that was a really quick item to list, a really quick item to ship, because that's hopefully all I'm going to be doing in those 10 days off. And now this is allowing me to actually list 30 items a day for the next 10 days. I'm going to try and list 300 items in 10 days. So I needed something fast. If they were business shirts, if they were short sleeve, long sleeve, if they were trousers, even shoes, it would have taken a really long time to list up 30 items a day. And I've still got a lot going on with the YouTube channel and everything else with regards to reselling. So these are just going to be the, the drip feeder, the, the ones that just trickle away over time. And while I'm away for those 10 days, hopefully at 10 items a day getting listed up onto my store, it'll allow my sales to keep trickling through overall. So that's the reasoning behind it. It's only a $350 spend. And like I said, the brand new and sealed are going to be $250 in value. So there's going to be a bit of money made on this one when it's all said and done. I've done DVDs before. I know that they do sell. So fingers crossed we can get a good return on this one. A few sales to take you through as well now, guys. Uh, Dr. Muto sold overnight, $27.50. Now, I bought this one in an op shop for $5. Normally, I get them for about $1 or $2. So I paid a little more for this. Uh, but in the end, I'll make about a $12.50 profit. So $12.50 off uh, a $5 purchase. I didn't think this one was too bad. Now, for any soccer fans out there, you will know that uh, Chelsea just won the EPL. So I'm not surprised that this Chelsea Football Club polo shirt has uh, ended up selling for me for $25 on eBay overnight. Uh, I paid $3 for this one in a garage sale in very, very good condition. And uh, in the end, I'll make about a $12 profit as well on this one. So not too bad for a little cheap purchase at a garage sale. Next item up was another t-shirt, uh, a pretty horrendous purchase by myself in the thrift uh, a very, very long time ago. An incredibly long sales cycle on this one, the Doctor Who Don't Blink t-shirt. This is sold for $22. I paid $4 for it in an op shop. In the end, I'll probably end up making about an $8 to $9 profit. Uh, so not too bad on a t-shirt. If I'm generally making about 10 bucks per tee, I don't think that's too bad, but a big sales cycle on that one. I'm just happy to get it out the door. This next item though, absolutely takes the cake for the best of the day. Overnight, I had my Paul and Shark woolen sweater sell overnight. Now this is sold, but let me get in the light. This is sold for $120 on a best offer. Have a look at the little patches on the back there on the elbow. This was in perfect condition. It's 100% pure wool. I had a price at $150. I bought it back in January, but I knew that it would probably sell around this time of year and it has. I've taken a best offer for 120 bucks and uh, I only bought it for about five bucks in the thrift. So an unbelievable get. Uh, I had about seven or eight watches on this one over the course of the uh, of the few months that I had it up on eBay, but finally got the sale made at $120. I've pretty much, it'll ship for about $7. I've pretty much made about $100 worth of profit on that one. And we've had just one more sale overnight as well. It was a pair of shoes, um, so five sales in total. These were the Nike Project BAs that have sold as well. So some skateboarding shoes, uh, quite a large size, can't remember. The um, screen grab will show you what size they were. $35 was the sale price on those. So normally I like to make about 30 bucks with shoes, but the condition of those probably wasn't quite up to scratch to be able to get the full 50 bucks. I only bought them for $5 in an op shop. I've sold them for $35. In the end, I'll make myself about a $15 to $17 profit, which is about half what I normally like to get to, for shoes. But I figured that there's so many shoes here. I've got over 250 shoes. Um, I'm happy to take a you know, 20 odd dollar profit on some um, that aren't quite up to scratch like that one. So $35, my last sale of the day. So there you have it guys, my five overnight sales. Thanks in large part to this Paul and Shark sweater. That is an absolute beauty. Um, all in all about $220 worth of sales here. I'll make in, in the end about $110 worth of profit once you've taken out fees and post. Uh, so $110, not too bad for about a 12 hour period on eBay. Okay, one thing that I actually forgot to do when I ran out and got those DVDs was my end relist strategy on eBay. I'm gonna do about 20 items. I'm gonna refresh them, redo the listing, and uh, hopefully a few sales can trickle through. Last week, I actually put up the sales as they came through on the video, and I'm gonna do that again today. So any sales that come through on my eBay for today will be whacked up onto the screen for you guys to check out. So hopefully there's a few of those in this episode. I'm gonna do my listings as well now. Once I've done the end relist strategy, I've got my 25 brand new DVDs that I've looked out 
up that I'm going to list up straight away. I'm going to try and go for about $15 free postage on those and fingers crossed we can get some wins. And what am I listening, uh, listening to when I, I do my listings? It is the NBA playoffs today. The Washington Wizards are playing the 76ers as we speak and I'm a massive Russell Westbrook fan. So I don't think the Wizards are going all too well. I think they're going to be bundled out of the playoffs. But um, while I can tune into some Westbrook basketball, I definitely will. So I want to put that on now and uh, get into the listing, get into the relist strategy, and I'll see you after. Geez, they are the easiest things to list in the world, the DVDs. I've been able to get 10 listings up so far, an average price of about $13. So when I do my tracked postage, I'm probably gonna sell each one of those for about $8.50. So that's about $85 already from 10 brand new sealed DVDs. I've still got another 485 to end up listing up over the next few days. So there'll be some good money made there. And like I said, they're a very, very easy item to list. So I'm pretty excited about what we can get out of that. It's 12 o'clock now, guys, so I am off to the gym. Um, always do that every lunch hour, and it does work really well for me, just to break up the day a little bit. Uh, and I also get my training in, which is pretty important for me. Um, and, the, and the Wizards, uh, Westbrook had a win as well. So now 3-1 in the playoffs. So I was actually pretty happy about that. I caught myself listing, but also watching quite a bit of that basketball game. But uh, really happy that Westbrook came through with the W, and uh, we'll head off to a game five, see what we can do there with the Wizards. Um, also to this afternoon guys, I will be going to the shopping centre after the gym. I'm going to buy something for this YouTube channel actually, it might benefit you guys as the viewers. So I've had a bit of a think about things as how I can kind of level up this YouTube channel from a sense of quality and uh, there is a purchase that I want to make. I won't tell you what it is just yet, stick around for it. Let me go do this gym session and uh, I might catch you at the shopping centre for this purchase. Guys, I bought a drone. The DJI Mini 2. Matty Hapoya tells me that it is a pretty good drone to get my hands on, so I am excited about this bad boy. I don't think I'm going to open him up just yet because I think there's a bit of knowledge ahead to uh, to learn how to fly this guy, but uh, really stoked to pick him up. I've got everything that I need in there as well, so uh, awesome little purchase to end the day. So I've spent quite a bit today, guys. When you look at the drone and you look at all the DVDs, it's been about $1,200 worth of a spend today. And I really just want to sort of round out the episode by saying it's taken me a really long time to get up to the point where I'm happy to pay that sort of money on things. I've been doing YouTube videos for over a year, well, almost a year, I should say. I've done about 130 videos. And it's at the point now where I feel like I can afford or can be in a position to commit to something like a drone. It's a lot of money. It's $950. And I think you've really got to be sort of committed to YouTube and doing videos, you know, for a fair period of time if you're going to commit to something like that. So walk before you can run is, uh, is what I would say. But um, I'm really excited to get that and learn that over the next few weeks and hopefully bring you some really cool footage. And the same, um, I guess, concept goes for the DVDs. I bought the 80 DVDs for 60 bucks a couple of months ago now, and I've had the experience of selling those DVDs. So that puts me into the position of spending $350 this morning. Um, I know now with through the experience that I've had that I can go on to sell them and make a few dollars. So while it is a massive spend, it's, it's built up to the point where it can be a massive spend. So um, take little steps, grow slowly, and then obviously the big things can come from then on. So hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. I've got a lot to get done. I've got a lot of DVDs to list. I'm still going to do another 20 of those today. Uh, I've got to edit this video and get it out to you tonight. I always edit on the very same day. And then if I've even got a bit of time after I edit the video, I might unbox this drone and uh, start
start flying it and learning how to use it. So lots still get done, guys, but um, I'll wrap it up there at what is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday. Hope you've enjoyed uh, the day that we've had together, and uh, I do look forward to catching you in the next one.